Ladies and gents, welcome to some Exploding Kings. And man, what a great map choice for this. Yes. So this map is called Enclosed. We'll talk more about that in a bit. But if you don't know the settings or if you need a reminder, each player has a king here and that king will explode when it dies. All right. We do a lot of regicide, which incorporates kings. And the goal is to be uh, standing with your king. Why can't I talk at the moment? The, the goal is to have your king alive at the end with all other kings being dead. However, recently been, we've been toying around with exploding. And these villagers really need a job right now, which is freaking funny. So we've got eight players, eight kings, and the kings explode. And we've got one gigantic wood line in the center. Again, the map is enclosed. Uh, Red is asking about the king. Because Red can't see the king is behind the castle, which is kind of funny. So let's do the introductions. Uh, first and foremost, we have Red. I was about to say that WDW Kid was experienced in community games. And now he can't find his king. So maybe he's lacking experience in community games. And he's playing as the Lithuanians. Here in the gray, we have Fingolfin. Someone who has also been around the community a while. Has found his king. Fingolfin is playing as the Poles in the gray. That's exciting. In the blue, we have Ninja Boom. And Ninja Boom's first community game is this one right here. It is a great name for Exploding King, so I like it. Ninja Boom is playing as the Tootins. Uh, in the teal, we have First Pick, who is playing as the Burgundians. In the green, we have uh, Jor Jero. <laughs> Jero is playing as the Celts. In the orange, we have Grabic. Grabic is playing as the Poles. Wow, so they must have picked Civ. I think I said a random, but whatever, that's fine. And the purple, then, we have Krihe, who's playing as the Franks. And last but not least, we have good old Nick. Nick golfs. And Nick is playing as the Khmer. It took about three and a half minutes, but Red finally realized that the king was behind the castle. <laughs> and Green has been super wholesome about this. Green was the host of this game. Green is so supportive of my channel earlier on in the day. And Green actually wished me good luck for casting. So I, I kind of have a soft spot, soft spot here for Green. He says, hope you all have a nice day. So, uh, you know, we have people watching from all over the place now, and I don't know how much of my content you guys have watched, but if you ever watch the Red Bull Wololo events, not uploaded to my channel, they would be on the, the Red Bull channel. There's an Empire Wars tournament, so you start in Feudalage with a lot of villagers and a lot of eco, and this was an Empire Wars map. So that's where Enclosed comes from. It's kind of like Hideout, where you all share a woodline in the center, uh, but it's different in that you don't actually start with walls. A really satisfying one, though, because you do have to expand to the outer ring to get golden stone. So I think it's good for community games. And obviously, wood is an important resource as well. So I could see if in a king it ends up exploding that a lot of this wood gets taken out. And Gray says, Ninja, boom, why have barracks? That's not nice. And uh, you might think this is a smiley face, but this is just a, a fat dude with double chins right here. That's what that smiley is. Blue, blue that's not the best response, actually. Like, I don't think blue is going to be very aggressive yeah. with the barracks. But gray spotted that already. And gray's like, wait, how did gray spot that already? Oh, scouted it. Okay. And yeah, anyways, blue just smiles and doesn't say, say much besides that. And a scout goes down for first pick, so that tells me Blue hasn't allied anyone yet. And no, Blue has not. Brandon, if you want to turn off CC, you can just click the CC button. It should be, like, bottom right or something. I think CC's default, but you can turn it off easily. Alright, what did Gray do? He says, I'll release you. Oh, the scout was walled in. <laughs> That's funny. Gray walled in red scout. Well, guys, I think two of the most experienced players in community games are next to each other here. And that's that's already the biggest thing to talk about for me. And discussing things with each other. They have been talkative as well as having pretty good macro. So I need to clarify one thing. Um, there was a patch the other day. And every time there's a patch in this game, there's always bugs. And so there's something that might make it more difficult for me to find kings at crucial times. I just want to say this ahead of time so I, you guys know it's kind of a, a headache. So, like, typically, if I want to switch to someone's point of view, I hold shift and I click them. And here I hold shift and I click, and it takes me to yellow. 
when I'm actually on teal. It's very weird. So I don't know. I guess it's just showing yellow and it's still showing me teal's fog of war. But watch this. If I use the king hotkey. Wait, what? It takes me to teal now? Okay, this might not be a big deal. In the previous game, I would select teal, for example, and it would take me to yellow's king. I guess it's just the list. And I think I determined why. I think there's a Gaia thing here. So now I can spectate Gaia. This is what the AI sees. This is what the, the world sees. And I think it screwed up the list and makes it hard for me to, to see certain things. Yeah, but there it's working. Okay, so I might be actually okay. Another thing that you can't do on this map is you can't wall on this. That's not a big concern, but obviously a concern if you want to do full walling. For now, these players are just hanging out. So I guess I'll answer questions from chat if anyone has them here. Again, the support's been really awesome. Uh, if this goes to YouTube, YouTube, I was just kind of talking about how happy I've been with the Switch, the new platform. How awesome it's been to connect with so many people here, but also to see so many people watching the videos, too. Uh, I get, like, making it to streams is a, an extra uh, level of commitment, you know? At that point, I've truly brainwashed you guys. <laughs> At that point, I've sucked you into my web. No, um, you know, life's busy. Uh, it's, it's hard to make it to stream. Sometimes it's better to have videos. You can put me on faster speed or whatever. And so anyways, it's just cool, man, to have uh, so many different people everywhere interested in watching. I'm really curious about what we're going to see from polls because I think polls are really What's strong. Um, if you use their bonuses properly anyways. <laughs> and you have Gray on the way to Castle Age, but so are a lot of other players. Gravik is... Uh, we've also have WDW Kid on the way up. We have First Pick on the way up, and also Ninja Boom. So I guess Green and Purple are probably the players you'd look at and say they have a little less experience. 1890 capture age for community games when soon, hopefully Rama. It's it's in the works soon, very very soon. 1890. I was wondering how many Lels on a team do you think you could take on in a single game solo? Um. I wouldn't mind making that a series next week or the week after, but things are busy right now. Um, well, it depends on what elo they are. I think I could beat three 900 elo players, but I think it'd be very tough. I think I could do it, though. But if we're talking like 500 or 600, then maybe that number goes up. We have done stuff like that in the past, but I never really... Normally, when I make content, I wanted to make it kind of... Uh, you know, as, as engaging and as official as possible, and I never did it in an official capacity. And yeah, maybe three. 1890, can you tell my fiance that I don't have to drive her tonight so I can try to get into a community game? Uh, yeah, Yip Yip's fiance? If you truly love him, you'll take a taxi. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't know the situation. Uh, no, I can't help you out there, buddy. <laughs> I can't help you out there. You need, to, you need to drive her. I don't know what the situation is, but you're just going to need to do it. I had a situation uh, where my early January, my girlfriend was coming home from a, a work thing. And she was arriving back at like 6 a.m. And she was like, so I drove her to the airport, which was in the afternoon. And I had to wake up at 6 a.m. on a Sunday. And so I put out what I would call a feeler. Okay, like a feeler question just to see her tone. And so I, I like heavily implied that I didn't yes. want to wake up early on a Sunday and that I was going to be working that day. So I was like, yeah, Sunday is going to be busy. You know, it's going to be going to be one of those days. I'm really going to need my rest. And then she didn't come back with, uh, you know, I'll just take an Uber or whatever, because it's kind of a long drive to the airport and we're in the middle of a pandemic and she wouldn't have seen me for a week. So I, I just knew at that point. I was like, okay, I got to do it. I'll suck it up. Make the drive. And it was fine. Boo-hoo. Poor T90 has to wake up at 6. It's horrible. It's just horrible. Hey, sir. First time I had to wake up at 6 all year, considering it was January 4th. Well, the conversations continue here. Hi, Yellow. Are we not friends? And Nick says we can be. <laughs> and Garret says maybe we should be. We both... Both golf and we are Knicks. I'm like everyone. So I am happy to be friends. Okay. Teal says green friend or friend or feet. Yes. Friend or fiend. Ooh. Me too. You killed my scout. Yeah. 
two. Okay, so green is basically like, you stole my freaking scout, buddy. You stole my, you killed my scout. So I'm trying to figure this out myself right now. Crazy farms green. I mean, again, I said you supported the content earlier, but you're really making me look bad with those farms. Okay. Is anyone not setting alliances right now? Let me do a quick check. Okay, I was wondering. So at the moment, the only person that blue has allied is gray. And I think this is a massive mistake because that's going to tell everyone else that blue can't be trusted. I understand that, you know, you do have an ally in gray and that can be good. But sometimes everyone's friends with each other and they're just thinking about who to attack. And blue's going to be first on that list. Also, blue's got a pretty high score as well. Pretty capable player. Scout also just kill the villager at Red's base. <laughs> Ninja Boom, you're playing with fire here, buddy. Is actually playing the best right now is the Vill lead. Also microing that scout. So it seems like WDW might be named Nick. So we've got the, the two Nicks over here. And oh ballista elephants for yellow. Okay. Blue says, you are my friend. No clue who Blue's talking to. And now Gravik says, how's everyone, guys? Gravik just trying to relieve some of this tension that has formed as everyone is building up towards eventual battle. Great, you, Gravik. I have a beer. <laughs> I love green. Green's just so chill. And I think gray is talking to blue. The communication could be a little better between these two. Gravik says, I have one as well. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i going over to some friends this evening. And the, the plan was to drink. But I'm going to, like, I, I'm not going to drink a lot because I want to be uh, well rested. And I want to make sure I'm in a good mental space tomorrow morning. Um, and I just want to, like, feel super healthy and ready to go tomorrow for W... WC. But I say that and I know I'm just gonna, you know, have a few more that I'm planning on. Nothing crazy, but happy to hear you guys are having some beers and relaxing on this Friday or Saturday, whatever. We friends then, Blue says a hundred percent, don't worry. You friend with red ore. And now Gray says, let's be friends with red. Okay, this is gonna be a problem. This is gonna be a problem because Blue, and I know it seems like a small thing, but it's actually a big deal. Blue killed one of Red's vills with a scout. And Red's going to remember that. And Blue is now asking Gray to talk to Red. Blue won't even use his own words to talk to Red and say, hey, let's be pals. Like, Blue could say, hey, sorry about that. I misclicked. Or, hey, sorry about that. You actually seem like a really nice guy. And so now Gray is passing the message along to Red. He's like, hey, are we friends? This is interesting, though. I've never seen a player this early on not be able to speak up for themselves when it comes to Diplo. And Red's like, me? And Gray's like, yes. Okay. T90, 1v1, you and Spirit of the Law, who's winning? Uh, me. <laughs> me. I... I don't think Spirit's even ranked, to be honest. Uh, at least if you search for him, you can't find him out there. Maybe he's smurfing out there, and he's a top 100 player, but uh, I think I'd be in a good spot there. Yes, we are friends. God, this Diplo is so fascinating over here, because they're all so skilled. This is the top three, but for as good as they are with their gameplay, they're clearly using all that APM for the gameplay, not for the chatting. Gray says, huzzah! Alright. Um, right. So, Yellow had already agreed with Red that he was buddy-buddy. The Red didn't really run by this whole decision to team with Gray by Yellow. Not that Yellow is not already allied, you know? The only person Yellow is not allied to, as you can see here, I'm losing a scout, is Blue. And this comes down to the fact that Blue... Like, right, this is crazy. I, I don't know if I've seen this. Blue still isn't allied with Red. 
Though he asked Gray to talk to him. It's like someone who's scared to talk to their, their, their crush or something. We have a lot of weird high school references today. Like, I, I don't know if he likes me, but I like him. Can you talk to him for me? Again, this is not coming from my actual experiences. I was so shy, I wouldn't even do that. I I, I wouldn't do that. That's, it's horrifying. Okay, green on the other side. Says, how are you? Teal says, me good. Want a friend? Aha, uh -huh, yeah, I am low. XD. He's like, I'm a noob, basically. Yellow, want to put market in top corner for trade? Yellow says, K. Arn says, yo, purple, speaking only to you. Let's be BFF. Lots of friendships forming. And now blue wants to know what red said. And now gray is finally passing along the message. He says, we're going to be friends with blue too. Does that sound good? <laughs> I feel like this is Diplo for dummies. And then gray comes... <laughs> Gray's like, I think he's going to say yes to this. And then red comes back with the depends. I love it. The depends. And now Blue finally speaks for himself. Blue's so good. Ninja Boom, you're at 102 vils. You're about to hit him. Why can't you dip low, bro? <laughs> Clearly, he wants to attack people, too. So this is like... I think Blue's going to have some big problems in the long term. Even if he rolls through Teal, others are going to pick up on the fact that Blue hasn't been allied with them and that he's attacking people. Hello, Red. Oops. Wow. Yeah, the alliances are very confusing right now. Almost as confusing as Adam in chat saying, every time I hear Diplo, I get a mental image of Blimpies. Okay. Thanks for that. Hey, Red, want to be friends and trade? Okay, I like that. It's a little late, but I really like the idea of trading corner to corner, and Red's already making markets there. But Yellow's Yellow beat him to the punch here. Yellow and red, I think, are the only true friendship right now. The only true friendship beyond maybe green. Who was it? Was it green and and purple? Who are they? Who are they? I forget at this point. Okay. Cavaliers in for teal. However, they're Castle Age Cavalier, which Burgundians can do, thankfully. Downside is blues and imps, so blue will have imp upgrades. And the potential to get Paladin. And God, this is so... I need to know how this is going to go. Blue has put Red as ally, but Red hasn't accepted it. Blue, please don't kill me yet, says Teal. <laughs> That's cute. Blue says, ally with me. That's true. Okay, they're allied now. Green is picking up on this. He says, blue is enemy to me, and yellow says, blue is enemy to me, too. Blue, you have the whole point of, like, early imp community games is to fly under the radar if you're a good player. The worst thing that could happen is if you're a good player top score and literally everyone sees you as a target. This is... Blue says, we four versus four them. Who's we? <laughs> Does everyone else even know? <laughs> it it seems like a game plan that you have, but maybe the others aren't aware of yet. <laughs> Me, red, you, and gray. And I think Teal's gonna be like, oh, okay, that's good for me. So Teal might actually agree to that. Blue, it, this is good because blue won't actually attack him then. And now blue says, what do you think, guys? Okay, so what do the others think? Keep in mind, red hasn't even accepted the friendship yet. <laughs> So, <laughs> like, uh, Red said depends and left it at that. To be fair to Blue, I think the biggest problem was he didn't speak to Red directly. Speak. That's the main thing. A lot of the, uh, a lot of passing the message along. See, look! Orange says, guys, Blue is strong yes. and is hostile. And Red says, yes. It's also so easy for me. I've, I've done so many community games. This is Blue playing in his first community game. But I've been casting these community games for seven years. We've seen it all go down. He is really strong. Okay, says the guy who's making skirms at the moment. Uh, Green, you've got to build up some units here, buddy, other than skirms. But has decent pop, is now an imp. 
The longer blue waits, the worse this gets for him, too. But his score has dipped down a lot, so that's good. Man, the Polish eco is looking so good. Both visually, but also just with how many resources they bring in. What are you thinking with blue? Are you allies with him? And this is red. I assume red is talking to yellow, but I could be wrong. Hmm. Okay. Green making some stables. For blue, okay? Hope you don't mind. Alright, that's that's good. I like that. That's good teamwork. Letting green know that these this army is going to be just passing. Okay, blue is also using his scout to kill green's villagers right now. <laughs> I just like... I just like... Is, is anyone in chat as fascinated with this like I am right now? Look at this. We have the scout still attacking. This scout's killed like seven units this game. Green hasn't really reacted. A little overwhelmed. Maybe said one beer and really it's been six at this point. I don't know. It's hard to say. Is making knights with Celts... There was a time where we would say that we wouldn't even have seen that in a competitive tournament. But we did actually see it. It was wonderful. It was a memory we'll, we'll never forget. And here comes Blue's Cavalier. So Blue said, we are going to do a 4v4. And he basically told Teal, hey, we're with Red and Gray, which is not the case. Red is trying to talk to find out what Gray thinks about Blue. And Blue is now overrunning Green. And Green's going to have a big problem here. Now here comes Teal. I believe Teal believes Blue's idea. And so I believe this is Teal also going to attack Green, which sucks for Green because he's just the nicest guy. Hey, okay, Gray's confused, and Orange is saying Blue aggressive. And Blue says, I like this, send me gold and I will leave you. Now wait a second, Teal is defending! Teal is defending! They're all going against Blue! Teal is defending! So Teal doesn't accept the deal. Gray and Red will maybe see reason to turn on Blue as well. Gray's like, listen, Red, we need to get rid of Blue. And Blue's in big trouble now. And now Blue's like, well, I guess I need helps because we're going to have double cab up against this. But wow, what a moment that was. Like, I think Blue, he's going to rewatch this and he's going to be kicking himself. Because the thought process is there. Form, form alliances and then make a push and then if you're attacking someone try and get gold from them too that's all good it's just the build up to it has been a little little wonky here i will not attack him but i can't defend him so red's like i don't really care about him okay we go for blue says orange the communication in this community game has been a problem if i were to title this uh, if I were to title this video already, it would be Communication is an Issue, AWE2 Game. That would be my YouTube title. Hey, Green says, I don't know help. So Green's like, I, I, I don't know what I could do here. <laughs> help me out. And Green's been the nicest guy today on the channel. Ended up hosting this one for us. So Teal's got to bring his army back. He actually forgot about it, but thankfully Orange is here to help. Pulls a very cheap Cavalier. And guys, I actually had a dream last night about the Poles as a civilization. I genuinely had a dream that they made the Cavalier cheaper. And it was... I remember waking up with, like, cold sweats. I remember waking up, like, a nightmare. Like, oh, oh, oh my god, they made it cheaper. And it was at 99%. And I... The worst part of the dream was that there were people on AOE Zone and the subreddit, AOE2 subreddit, and they were they were like making arguments for why that made sense. And I like put so much time into typing out these reasons why that wasn't good. And everyone was just like downvoting me, downvoting me, downvoting me on how it was such a bad take. And then I woke up and here we are. I forgot about that till now, actually. I do have a lot of Age of Empires dreams, so they kind of run together. Um, so now purple's here, right? Like, everyone wants to attack blue. Red has at least said that he won't defend blue. 
I think it could be a mistake for Gray though to not pick a side with Red. Like, I think it would have been better for him to fight alongside Red to kill Blue. Because then you've got... Then you're working with someone towards a common objective. And I think that's good for you in the long run. Obviously, I think Red... The Red wants to just trade with Yellow. That seems pretty set, but... See, look, now Gray sees this and says, what is this? So now there's, now there's not a lot of trust between them. Here comes the Cav now from Grabic. Now, Blue is a great player. Blue's got all these halves out. Obviously does need to react to this, though, and maybe hasn't reacted in time, and Blue's population's dropping. The Vil count's below 100, and this is all before their other armies move in, and maybe even Siege. Gray's not helping, and, and Blue might be confused by this. Like, I thought I was going to have a teammate over here, but I don't think that was ever really the case. For protection of yellow turns, says Red. Okay, that seems like a lie. Red got called out for having siege here. I if if you really are using it for yellow, I think you'd have the siege workshops over here. Yeah, and Gray says, why build it next to me then? Oh yeah, this is not gonna last. These two are gonna be at each other's throats soon. Anyways, 50 villagers for blue, still making more of them, still making halves. Has Tootin Castle, so might be manageable. Red, if you really didn't want to anger Gray, right now you would move your Bombard Cannons and you would say, oh my bad, it just moved them out of the way. But at this point, Gray's on edge. Also, Gray made a... Gray made a circle of stables here. So it's like a stable wall around his king. But I think the units are going to be trapped in here because there's no gate to get out. All right, I will go for Obuk against Blue. He's got too many halves. Very good decision from Orange. It's a good unit to go for. Um, I think having the Kelp player go Wode Raiders, or even the Burgundian player go for Coustier would be pretty good too. I think more than anything, they just need Siege. They have three people over here. <laughs> Blue says, you know I can see what you say, no? <laughs> so Orange just said what he was going to go for, and Blue saw it. And Orange is like, well, this is awkward. And look, Blue's clicked the Lead Teutonic Knight, so he's going to make a better unit than just Halb. I think Obuk do okay against Teutonic Knights. I actually haven't seen that too much. Yes. And Orange says, uh, yeah, it wasn't about you. It was about another Blue. Nice save there, buddy. Nice save. Okay, Green says, okay, if someone betrays me, it's you, Gravik, and I won't even mind. Whoa! So Green's like, you can take me, and I, I respect you still. What just happened there, though? Who just fought what? Oh, I guess Blue had sent a few yeah, units in. Hey, sir. So I think, like, if this was a if this was a show, okay, that had eight, let's say eight episodes. Or no, no, no. Let's say, you know, this was a show that had eight seasons. Yeah. Season one has drug on a little bit. It could have been ten episodes. It ended up being 15, you know. Um, but when season one ends, season two is going to be very, very different. And really, it's just the fact that Blue is able to somehow hold on on his own. And these guys over here, like, they're in the dormant phase. They're waiting. It's going to get crazy, but not yet. Same with Yellow. It will get crazy, but not yet. They're building up. And Gray says, I think Red is going to attack us. Is Gray talking to Blue right now? Because if you're talking to Blue, I'll tell you what, buddy. This isn't going to go good for Blue on this side. Here come the Halbs. I think he's right, by the way. I think that Red is going to team with Yellow and make a move together. And Blue's like, I hope he... We, I hope not. And Gray says, I will try and snipe. Okay, so that's actually good because I think... In Gray's position here, Gray will just die to Yellow and Red. Or the other players that are on this side. There's so many armies over here. I'll try and snipe. Okay, says Gray. Okay, so Gray needs to delete bills because he's got units in queue. Uh, oh my god, petards. What the? Oh, and he's got a lot of units in his stables. No way. This would be an epic snipe. Meanwhile, there's Latus inside of these castles. And where's the king at? Oh, the king is over here for red. Great job from red to keep that out of the way. I think Gray is assuming it's this castle when it's not. 
very well played from red to keep little fakes inside. And so I do not have this castle selected. I know you see this down here. It's the castle on the left. The gray's about to show his hand. And this is the attack we all expected to have. So blue, if only there were some trebs. I think purple said he's sending trebs. Blue would be dead. Gray's about to make his move. And red is going to notice this. And Gray's like, I got it! Let's kill the king! And surprise, buddy, it's Elite Latis. Red has not turned on him, though. Red has not started to attack yet. And here comes Yellow. Yellow hasn't defended Red either. So it might take them a few moments to realize this is happening. Now Red notices, so now he's fighting back. Elite Latis are a much stronger unit than these Cavaliers. Full upgrades. Also all that attack. And so I think if it's upwards of 40 or 50 Elite Latis, everything that Gray makes dies. Push continues over here. And Gray's now saying, watch out to Blue. He's his only teammate in this game. And fortunately, I think he just went for the wrong guy. And Red, I'm not sure if I believe this, but Red looks really good right now. He says, I was never going to turn, brother. Meanwhile, Gray's like asking Yellow why Yellow's here. And <laughs> Yellow says, why are Gray and Red fighting? So he has no clue why this is even happening. And Red says to everyone, he turned on me. So yeah, now Gray looks like bad guy. And Gray has teamed up with Blue, who clearly has been kind of the bad guy. And Yellow's like, I'm just passing. I'm going to Blue. You guys sort it out. And now Gray, I, I feel a little bit bad for Gray. Because I can understand why he felt Red would do this. I think Red was going to eventually turn on him. So I do feel bad for Gray because I think he just chose the wrong ally and didn't, you know, they didn't communicate too well. And obviously that was a bit unlucky. But this is going to be the end for Blue. Ninja Boom's mistake in this game was simply keeping people on enemy. That was the mistake. This was it. Starting off a Diplo game. Oh, I forgot Kings explode. Oh my God. I forgot Kings explode until this very moment. Guys, Teal could die. Teal needs to get out of here. I completely forgot Kings explode. And I think Teal did as well. So we have this new, um, we have this new indicator. It shows a bunch of units dying and oh, <laughs> I did remind them, okay? I know I forgot, but I did remind them. Holy crap. Okay, and now Teal's King is dead. And now, will this range green? Okay. OMG, Blue King went boom. This will be the reminder for everyone. Arnst is green run. And thankfully for green, he is safe. If anything, that was just clearing out some of Teal's pop. The green is safe. Wow, okay, so that was a reminder I think everyone needed. That, yeah, kings explode. And honestly, guys, with with all that said, you don't want to... I, I forgot about this point. You don't want to get someone pissed off at you. Because if, they, if you kill them, they will just send their king into your base. Wow, okay. GG, guys. Nice revenge. <laughs> Blue. <laughs> Well, it seems like good job from Blue because it seems like you remember the Kings explode and that's kind of what you want to do uh, if you think you're down and out. And Red, I mean, Red says he's trying to get Yellow involved maybe, but Red doesn't have a lot of latest. And Gray is really pushing. Look at that unit queue. Wow. First pick. Don't stress it. That was a good first community game. Unfortunately for you, you were next to the guy who was clearly going to die. I don't think it's fair to say you did nothing because you defended green. Green would have been out of the picture if it wasn't for you. I forgot kings explode. Lol, lost all my army to blue. Yeah, man. I guess it's because we haven't been doing it as consistently. Did other people in chat forget too? I forgot, man. Okay. Green says, I told you before the game. <laughs> He's a little tipsy right now, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I told green to remind people before the game. I'm surprised red doesn't have 200 pop right now because the resources are there. T90 is going to be mad. Yes. Furious. <laughs> I'm raging right now. Can't complain. Teal lost his life to blue. Yep, this is true. Rip teal. Let's check resources, guys. So yellow, tons of res. 
terms of comp, he's got Ballista Elephants, he's got Elephants, he's got Halbs, he's got Siege. Honestly, looks really strong. Also, putting his king... He's acting like he's putting his king in these castles, but the king's actually in a house. Which... <laughs> I mean, that is sneaky, don't get me wrong, but that's also very risky to put your king in a house. It's kind of cool, though, to see people doing that. Oh, wait a second. I need to check something in the actual game. Whoa, where's the game? Oh, we're in the game. I'm an idiot. I'm so used to using Capture Age. I was trying to see... You know how you can set gather points on buildings? Um, you can set gather points on houses, too, but I don't think you can set the gather points into another house. If you could set the gather point into another house, you could, in theory, just have them in a line. So when the house goes down, it just goes boop, 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 in through all the houses. Gray says, I will give you 2,000 stone to pay for the castles I destroyed. He's saying this to Red. That's a really good deal. I think Red should take this. Purple, me, and green are friends. Defend each other. Yellow was fighting Red, question mark. We can try and talk to them to make them fight again. Okay, so Grabic is going to try and get Yellow and Red to turn on each other. He, he missed it. Uh, Yellow was not attacking Red. But Purple's like, yeah, that seems like a good plan. Why not? So I kind of like this team that's formed. The, the green, orange, purple team, they team, seem to take initiative and work together. The other players maybe haven't communicated as well. Like, Red has not responded to Gray yet. I don't know if Green knows that they're plotting to work together because he's got his army over here. Hey, Yellow, says Orange. Are you okay? Question mark. Doing great. You? Come on, Orange. Spin a web of lies here. Yellow says, do you need help with anything? Orange is like, I'm good. I'm good. Not really. Okay, Orange, this is where you say Red is talking to you about sandwiching Yellow. Oh, and Red belatedly denies Gray's offer. So he, he says, no, I will not take the stone. And I will continue to be an enemy to you, Gray. Are you fighting Red, says Orange. I think Orange doesn't know. He, he's a little uncertain. <laughs> and Orange is like, oh, and Yellow goes, why? Did he say something about my mom? And Orange is... Okay, he's not being deceitful. He's being honest. He says, oh, I guess it was red versus gray. Now, wait a second. Gray just received stone. What? From who? Who sent him stone? Oh, it's bugged. Okay, it's that bug I mentioned earlier. So, gray sent stone to red. That makes sense then. But he didn't send 2,000. And Gray says, I have erred in the past. I hope Red has forgiven me. Okay. I don't... I, I don't know if Red really wants to forgive you, but he'll be happy to take the stone anyways. This is just a giant standoff. You know who's going to break this, guys? Is Orange and his, his team. The Grabic team. Do you have a preferred side there? Did Gray hurt you? Green says, I don't think that Red did. Or maybe he meant to say Gray. I don't know. Everyone's just sitting back, twiddling their thumbs. Everyone's scared because they know now that things can explode. Also, Green, supplies! Getting supplies over here, just in case you guys missed it. I thought Yellow had my back, but he didn't help me against you. Want to work with me to snipe him. Oh! 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 Oh, juicy, juicy drama. And Grace, this sounds good. Whoa. Okay, I never expected that. I never expected that. However, that's true. Actions speak louder than words. And in this case, there have been no there's been no action from Yellow. And Yellow, I think, is about to go over to defend from an attack he thinks will come in from the others. Sounds good. What can I do to help? Green seems to have a lot of army here, too. And now, Orange is talking to Gray. Wow, this is interesting how Orange is talking to both Yellow and Red when they're about to turn to each other. Oh, wow, there's this whole Polish connection that I didn't think about. The only two Polish players. He says, hello, Gray, my Polish brother. 
Yes. Just dawns on Gray, so Gray's like, hmm, should I ally him then? To add to the storyline? I like how Gravik's talking. I wish he'd take a little bit more initiative and say, hey, I'm going to do this. Instead of asking all the time. And now Purple says yellow is gaggering forces on my side. Um, he meant to say gathering, but gaggering is just a different way. If you look it up in the thesaurus, it's the same thing. Um, Gray, who just allied Red, who says, I think Red was going to snipe me. But now I don't think he's going to. But we need some finesse for that. So, yeah, yeah. Orange is like, do you want to fight Red? And Gray's like, yeah, but that's we're, that's going to be tricky. Yellow and Red were plotting against you. Ooh, yellow and red. So finally we have a lie. Wow, and this is good because red literally just accepted Gray's uh, offer of friendship. So red might not, ex right not a, a little uh, might not accept this or expect it. Sorry, I can't speak. Yeah, because remember, red wants to kill yellow. Yellow doesn't know. Gray believes, or red believes that Gray is going to help. Also, here comes green, not the. Not the smoothest sniping attempts ever. And immediate defense here from Greg. Good job from Green. He's going for it, though. I mean, I don't think he'll get it. But finally, someone tries to fight. I will try to snipe purple. Says red. And Grace, this sounds good. Okay, so the second this is defended, then, Grace should send everything over to red, is what I'm hearing. When this starts, guys, it's going to be crazy. Everything's going to fall apart all at once. I I have to appreciate the fact that Green just kind of got sick of waiting around. <laughs> he just went in. Also, his army was sitting there forever. So, like, it's not like it was a big surprise, but he tries. Green. Gray is good. Green friend. Green, me, and Gray are friends as well. Let's go for red. Okay, so orange is taking initiative. That seems to be the color of the day if you saw the previous game. I really like that. And then green's like, well, no, I'm attacking gray, XD. And orange is like, don't do that. I don't, I honestly don't think green cares. I think green's just having fun. Yeah, this is too late. <laughs> this is too late, XD. <laughs> I love that. He's like, no, I started something. I want to finish it, whether I win or lose. And this is huge because Gray was going to hit Red. So this now gives Red the potential to have success with his snipe against Purple, who is Orange's ally. So Orange is kind of correct in this. If Gray continues to have to defend from Green, then Gray can't execute their plan. Wow. We need to attack Red. Want to debate me. And then Yellow is wondering why Red is here. And red tells him I'm going to purple, which I don't think yellow will mind. Um, okay, a treaty then gray, a thousand food. Bro, are you asking for a thousand food? That's it? He's got 20k. Yellow, red is sneaky. Oh, 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 oh. Oh my god. Okay, red is not going for purple. He's going in here and he's going to try and kill the king of yellow. Who, again, didn't defend him earlier. And please don't tell me Red assumes it's in the house. I mean, there's two castles. Yellow thought it'd be funny. Oh, he's trying to run away. <laughs> he's trying to run away. Hop into a house. No, no, no. Go back. Oh, go back. The king threw the houses. This is hilarious. Now hop into this house and then run to the castle. Yellow, no. Hop in. Yellow. Nick. He tried to be sneaky. He thought it'd be funny to hide it in a house. But Red just assumed that maybe that was that was where it was. Guessed the mind game. Got it right. The king's down. This will lead to massive explosions soon. So Red needs to get out of here. That's definitely not on Yellow's highlight reel. Also, he's going to lose everything to the explosion. And woo! All right. What? Yellow died? Go for red. So so now, like, I think this has not gone how Orange was expecting. He thought that purple was going to go down. And Gray says, Orange seems to be building a lot of... 
here. A lot of stuff. It wouldn't let us say stuff because we're all 12 year olds. We can't, you know, we can't just have an option in the game that allows us to say words we want to say. Anyways, uh, he says, me scared. They want to attack you, I think. So I think Gray is talking to Red now, to be clear. I think he's talking to Red again, which is weird because he wanted to speak to Red or, or like he wanted to backstab Red at the same time. Here comes purple just passing. Honestly, if I'm gray, I do not defend red right now. If you try and defend red, you're dead. Everyone's going after him. So just join in. Anyways, the king's not in here. It should be said. The king is not in here. The king is over here. And he knows that as he's making more castles. Purple's just passing. But red will just lose all of his eco and he will lose all of his pop and he needs help. On my way, purple, orange seems to be really powerful. Okay, so that's the other thing. Orange is really powerful. And orange has gained everyone's trust. And that, that's the most dangerous comp, uh, combination. So orange kind of could tell that there was no one taking charge in this game. And he just, in the Imperial Age, just started to chat people up and it's working. And I don't think he's really being conniving about it either. He's just doing smart things. Hmm. Okay. I could use some help against Orange 3v1 right now, and Grace is yikes. <laughs> they want me to join them, says Gray. If I were Gray, I would say send me my stone back. <laughs> or I don't know. I, I think that'd be a little too rude. I think I'd just let it happen. I, I would join in. Because I don't see what you really gain from saving red right now. You gain three enemies if you save red. Whereas if you attack red, you just have one enemy that's likely going to die. But you could also make an argument that if he doesn't save red, he, they will turn on him anyways. I think that's possible because the way that Orange is playing this game, it kind of seems like he wants to. Anyways, red's not helping himself. He's not actually attacking green at all right now. So green's just going in right now to this castle. Um... And honestly, I don't think Red's doing anything right now. Okay, now he's back. And now Orange is being preemptive about this. So he's getting ahead of the game and having these discussions when he needs to. Oh, and he says, why are you not attacking Red? This is a great question to ask. The answer is Gray just doesn't, he doesn't want to be involved right now. But that means he's not a team player. Sorry, I feel bad. Okay, that's a good answer, actually. Attacking 4v1 is not nice. That's a good answer. I think that's a respectful answer. I'm curious on what Orange says to that. And the king is in this castle. Green's halves are doing work right now. Uh, the king's gather point, though, the castle's gather point is set over here. It's about to eject. It's very possible this king goes down. Orange says he's dead anyways. Too late to feel bad. And Red says, dang, my game froze and I couldn't enemy you guys. Oh, I was wondering what happened. And the king is in there somewhere. The king died over here. It did seem like Red went AFK for a bit, but his game froze. Feels bad, man. And now everyone needs to evacuate. Hmm. So Orange is, is saying, listen, Red kind of deserves his fate because he killed Yellow when Yellow was his ally. And, and Green learned this lesson before, and Green says, run! <laughs> it's so funny how the halves at the back end of the group died. <laughs> These guys are like, woo! Okay, so now... Now, it's, it's a situation we've seen many times in community games. Where Gray hasn't really been part of the group. And so it only makes sense for Orange to work with... The two weaker players, green and purple, to finish yes. off gray. And purple just yes. says, now gray. And orange says yes. And green says yes. And gray's sitting here like, I'm afraid of orange. He has a lot of units and a very high score. Which is fair. But you didn't get it together with blue earlier. There was no coordination with blue. And then red, kind of, you, you and red had your own issues too. And so the team that has been a team are naturally going to work together for the time being. 
And Purple says, he's my BFF, so no chance. Okay. Just in case you guys don't know, BFF stands for best friends forever. Just in case you guys didn't use that lingo, or if you're not familiar with the lingo. There's a couple things you need to know for Age of Empires casting. You've got like Trush is Tower Rush, Drush, Dark Age Rush, BFF, best friends forever. Those are the three most important things. I'll have to make a video at some point. He is going to attack me next. I can distract him for some time, and you guys can snipe him since you're near him. This is good talk from Gray. This is his only chance. This is his only chance is to say is to try and convince them that orange is going to be a problem. And now purple is thinking. Okay, purple says I don't backstep. But but wait, green's going to do it. He says, "Okay, yes. Gray, I is, but I help XD." Bro, I'm confused. Come on, Green. I just want someone to to change their line of thinking from I don't care if I win, I just want to fight with my teammates. I, I want to watch someone go from being a good team player who, like Purple, doesn't backstab and then see the opportunity for potential glory and change everything about themselves. He is my neighbor. Okay. This is true. Siege Onager's in for green. I, did I underestimate him? Well, I guess he doesn't have gold. Um, This is uh, Gray getting stone, FYI. I just spotted this, Hi. too. I know you're going to kill me, Orange. So start fight in 30 seconds. Formal declaration of war. Meanwhile, Red says, Sorry, Yellow, I should have trusted you. This is This is very true. I don't know if Yellow's still here. They're both in heaven right now. They're both dead. Okay, Gray's saying... Gray is saying, like, I'm gonna fight Orange, guys. Get ready. Take him. Take him. Take him. And Purple's saying he doesn't backstab, but Purple's also not bringing all of his army forward. So he doesn't front stab either. And Orange is playing stupid. He's playing dumb. He's acting like he would never fight Gray. Which is smart thinking. Gray obviously knows it, though. And green turns on him! Yeah, we got a game, people! Let's go! Now, Gray should do it, too. Gray should do it, too. Get a big surround, and... Oh, wow! Gray and green kind of working together here. And it's going to be a 2v2 for the time being. There is a problem, though. Green didn't have anything here to try and push orange when this happened. So all he did was clear an army that Gray was going to clear anyways. I think it would have been smarter if he would have had a bunch of rams and a bunch of trebs attacking. Just look at this, man. This is like Grabnik's the, the most tryhard he's ever been. Bombard towers everywhere, castles everywhere. This could easily lead to Green having some big problems. Green! Why, Brutus? I defended you. Thought we were brothers. And purple says, not cool, Green. And Green says, welcome to T90 Kami Games. <laughs> so true. I like the spirit. I love the honorable players, but I love the dishonorable players, too. Welcome to community games. You're damn right. Let's go. Also, Green just killed, like, 20 of his own paladins because he's attacking me there. But All right. Here comes purple from the other side. I think Gray can hold on for a while. But I know that green cannot hold on against orange. I'd be shocked. I think orange with his Q and the ability to make Obuk and Cavalier for so cheap, I think that green's just going to die. So ultimately, I think what this does is it gives us a, a fun little moment. But I do not think that this changes the situation at all. Oh, and gray didn't know purple was against him. He says, it seems that purple's against us. Yep. Purple's played well. Purple's had some trade. Not a lot, but some. Orange the same, but he's did a ton of trade. And truthfully, he's got the better unit comps. Kelp Paladin is not very good. Kelp Paladin. Uh, I don't think they're the worst Paladins in the game, but they're close to the worst Paladins in the game. The Halbs are, of course, great against the Cavalier, but the Cavalier are cheap for poles. Not to mention Obuk takes care of the Halbs, so... And Orange says, I loved you like a brother, Green. 
you know, it doesn't necessarily mean a lot. Some people love their brothers but are still annoyed by them or inconvenienced by them. I, I don't know the story. We'll just assume Orange had a lot of love for him. And, you know, Green said, welcome to T90 Kami games and wouldn't be a T90 Kami game with someone going for a backstab that just really ended up looking bad afterwards. <laughs> They're tied with the worst paladins in the game. Yeah, but I think, I guess it depends on what type of fight you're taking. But I prefer Byzantine paladins because they get the final armor. Whereas Celts get the final attack, but not the final armor. I think the armor is more, more important. Yeah, like we said, Gray's got Unicue. Gray's going to do fine here to clear up Perp. Purple doesn't really have a lot of forward production buildings either, so it's going to take him a while to reinforce. But this is still going to be two versus Gray. And Gray's just got to be thinking, man, if only I coordinated with red or coordinated with blue, maybe then we could have done this. Woo! Yeah, Kelp Paladins are good on occasion. <laughs> on occasion. On the biggest of occasions, let's put it that way. Yeah, I, and I'm, I'm looking now at the differences between the players remaining. For purple, we've got what? Five barracks, five stables? That's an issue. That is an issue. For post imp, with that many resources, you should have more buildings. For gray, he's good, but gray will have gold problems. Not not too many gold problems with holes, but it will still happen. And then for orange, you've got production buildings. You don't have gold problems. And your teammate will apparently never backstab. Purple says, Orange, are you okay? I hope T90 in chat enjoys it. Oh, we enjoy it. What we would really enjoy is for you to embrace your dark side. You know that, those, that dark side you've been trying to repress your whole life? Accept it into your life, okay? Turn around, kill Orange, and then, you know, I, I didn't really think ahead on that. I'm not sure what else I would want to see, but that would be great. Doubt it'll happen? Because I think Purple's really satisfied to fight on honorably alongside a good teammate. But that would be the next move. Green, though, still a 200 pop. I'm surprised. Still a 200 pop. He's got a lot of helps. I guess when he runs out of food, which is very soon, then he won't be able to do anything more. Also, not setting up any real trade here with Gray. Not working with Gray. They're just kind of... They're, they're both fighting the other team, but there's no coordination. There's no trade. Wow, this I didn't see, though. Orange spots it. Great job from him. Oh, he's going to clear up all the rams. Wow, this is really good. And it was also a really good attempt from Gray to try this. But it looks like it's going to be stopped in its tracks. The castle gets denied at 78%. Of course, Gray's still kind of preoccupied over here with, our, with Purple. Dude, purple could know it's lost and delete his king, kill orange, and then green can still win. True! But he would never do that, right? It would have to be... It'd have to be a mistake. Purple really cares about orange. And guys, that's the theme of the game. Like, this, this was the one alliance that existed in this game. Green, of course, kind of broke it apart, but I think green made, just made things more interesting. Yeah, good job. <clears throat> To deny this. This would have been a really good position to hold in the long term. But that will just get cleared up over time. And Purple's doing enough. His production isn't amazing, but he's doing enough. I'm actually surprised he has as many units here as he does. Will anything change here? I think what would change is Green will not be able to make halves. Once these halves are finished... Unless he's rebooming, he's kind of trying to reboom. I think that's where it ends for him. Purple says no progress, but no progress is actually progress here. I feel like that's a really bad, like, political campaign speech. Yes, I know the numbers aren't good, but no progress is progress. <laughs> it didn't get worse. <laughs> unlike what the, unlike what's happening with the Celts over there. Sure, they're moving forward with their halves, but are they really? I don't know. That was a random reference. 
probably don't want to go too far that direction with it either. Right now, Orange has a lot of his pop over here. So he just has to get his old book over here, and that's going to be the go-to unit. Um, forgot to Q units is purple. It's an honest mistake. It happens. Again, the old book, I think, if there's like 50 or 60 of them, it would completely shred purple. In fact, I'm really surprised that Gray hasn't been able to make more progress there. Probably because he's still looking down here. Anyways, ting, 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 ting. The halbs are attacking mining camps at the moment. What do we do now? T90, I don't think you should go into politics. Well, I, I'd be pretty incompetent, but I'm not sure that would necessarily be very different from uh, politics in most places, so. <laughs> That's my fallback, guys. <laughs> the, the only reason... The only reason I'm trying to get people to watch a 20-year-old game and be interested is so I can convince people to agree with my dumb policies in the future. Okay, I mean... It, it kind of feels like where we're at right now is where we're going to be in 20 minutes. Which is purple and orange always winning this game together. Yeah, Kostai, a backstab now would be perfect. Okay, can I can I ask to the honorable people in chat, okay? To the honorable people in chat who who in purple's position would never backstab orange. Let's talk through the reasonings as to why, okay? Well, first of all, right now, purple's kind of losing ground. So he doesn't want to focus on going after orange. I think that's the first the first reason he won't do it is for that reason. Is the fact that they're actually in his eyes not really winning right now. But to the maybe few honorable people that are out there, Dux isn't honorable, we know that. Why not attack Orange? Why not try? I guess you can't do it yet, right? Yeah, that's true. You can't do it yet. And maybe him saying, I never backstab, is something that will help him later on. Yeah, that, that's a very good point. Um. Anyways, Green's pop, where's it at now? 79 pop. He's trying to reboom with villagers. And Green says, damn, this is hard. And yep, yes. it's going to be hard to live here, buddy. You are dead. This is where it starts to shift. This is where Purple's opportunity to potentially snipe. If he wants to do it, and Orange could do the same, this is where that opportunity arises. The King's going to eject from this castle. Green really did have a good game. In fact, Green deserves all our respect and salutes for actually trying to change the, the situation. He said, welcome to T90 Kami Games. <laughs> and yeah, the king is in there. And now green, don't send your king. Okay. What would have been good from green, though, is to actually send his king to orange. He didn't think of it. He's thinking about his own survival. That would have been the play. Maybe he wanted to, and maybe it was too late. But now, this is going to explode, and it's, it's actually not going to do too much damage to anyone. And Purple says, if we are the last two, I let you win. I don't understand that mindset. Like, the last two, I'll let you win thing, it's out of respect, I guess. They just don't want to lose. But why not take it down to the final two and then try and backstab? That's what I would like to see. You're probably going to lose anyways, right? There's no letting you win. You're probably going to lose. If you look at the way Orange has played this, I would say maybe give it a shot. We have been good, loyal friends. We both deserve to win, says Orange. Okay, that's true. They have a lot of respect for each other. Purple agrees. Gray is now on zero gold, so he's fighting with only Hussars. However, he has tons of food. So the key is now Orange just needs to swing all of his pop down here, which we've been waiting for, right? He's got some pop floating around up here still. He's figuring that out. Okay, Gray. Where's your king at? Gray. Can you make your king... <laughs> can you get your king to Orange's base? <laughs> I, I would love that. A mad dash with your king? You have to have some escorts, right? You have to have like 20 Hussars escorting. And you have to run the whole way around, all the way over here. And you have to get into Orange's base and then delete your king. Oh, yes! 
Yes, 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 yes. Now don't, don't go out without an escort though. You're crazy. Okay, this is Gray's point of view. Purple says Gray tried to talk to me to backstab, but no chance. Smiley face. Okay, this is it. But please escort. Like, bring an army with you. This is what you should do, guys. I think we've been a bit separated from the Exploding Kings recently. We haven't been doing it all the time, so it's harder for people to remember. This is what you should do. Now, it's possible that Orange is going to be sending units down this way, so you need to hug this side of the map. Now, you look at what Orange can see. This is his fog of war. He's got no vision, except for this area where his teammate's trading. So they're looking... Also, what you have to do if you're gray is you have to fight back. So you have to continue to make units here and fight back. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Okay. Here he goes. This is good. You know what would be so funny? I, I mean, he shouldn't do it because he's got to focus on his king micro. Oh god, they researched treason! They researched treason! Will they notice this? There should have been a little ping there. Hold on, this is Ar we want Orange's point of view. Come on, game. What's this bug, dude? What's this bug? Oh god, I'm so sorry. I don't see the king on his point of view. Okay. The king is in there for Orange. Gray should know this. He should have an idea, and he's hiding! Are you trying to snipe me, Gray, says Orange. <laughs> and Gray instantly says, no. That's exactly what you should say, if the answer's no. Oh, he's waiting for his Hussars, guys. So Gray's gonna send in a group of Hussars with it. And Gray says, I'm accepting defeat, but I'm pretty sure Orange just researched treason, and now we'll know the king is there. And sacrificing my king, he says. Okay, well, don't tell him. Because now Orange is running away. I mean, to be fair to Orange, he researched treason when he thought something was up. Or just to find where the king was and realize it's not there. And there, he just did it again, so he knows it's in there. And now Orange is on the move. So, Ray could research treason again. I think when he did before for Orange... He saw the king was there. And we now have house walling here. That's not going to work. The Hussars will get through. And so Gray will actually see there's no longer a flag on that castle. And he's going to research treason again, I think. I'm not sure about staying in here with the Hussars, but he might be trapped now. Wait, where does king go? Oh, his king died! Oh, disaster! His king died. Okay, so now... This is going to clear out a little bit of Orange's base, but not a lot. I think the units were just idling there. I didn't even think that would be possible. I thought maybe Grey would babysit his king a bit more, too. And now the explosion goes off. And Purple says, Allied Victory Brother. No, Allied Victory is not possible. We disable that in the settings because we don't like it. We frown upon it. At this point, there will be no more Exploding Kings, right? Because there's only two people left. If one king goes down, we won't have time for the explosion. I appreciate the respect they have between these two. I do. However, respect doesn't always make good dramatic content. So, you know, the content creator that I am, I have to frown upon all you individuals that feel it is nice to just, you know, call it a day, hang up your your cleats or your your pointy sticks and say, I love you. We can't, I think, can you tick it, question mark. No, you can't tick it. No, you can't. We appreciate the respect, but please kill one another. Exactly. Respectfully kill one another. Like, when you slice their throat, say, I love you. <laughs> and that, that, that's all right, I think. Do you want to make a cage? Each has two trebs. Purple says, no, I can't, but I don't want to fight you, so I give you the win. Yeah, I mean, they, listen, they have so much respect for each other. They don't want to, uh, what they don't want to do is, is break the bond that they've, they've had this whole game. Purple, this is the classic. My only goal was to not die first. That is a, that is a common reoccurring phrase I hear from community game players. And honestly, he played well. He played the Diplo well to work alongside Orange to get here. A lot of crazy stuff happened. 
And so he's he's happy to get the silver medal. He's going to just send his king over here, I think. Or just resign and give it up. Meanwhile, Green is still here. Green's like, no, you can't do that. Come on. <laughs> um, it was an honor to fight with you, my knight in shining armor. And Orange the same, brother. Was an honor. We have both spellings of honor, too. They're both correct, as far as I know. Thanks for loyalty. Now please kill yourself so I can win my first community game. Is basically what Orange is thinking. Oh, and oh, we have a clarification sister, Winky Face. Rabbit, how dare you? You shouldn't have assumed. Now, wouldn't it be funny if Purple just killed him now? <laughs> That'd be funny. I mean, obviously, it's fine. Purple says, never played ranked Winky Face and will never be playing ranked. Well, you're right. There is no allied victory in ranked, so that would be a bit of an issue. Here comes the king. I think this will be the end for Purple. And GG. GG. Um, well, guys, what did I say the title of this was going to be in Castle Age? What did I say? I sa I'm pretty sure I said communication is an issue. Correct? I think that's what I said. Something like that would be the title of this game. And the final two players, Purple and Orange, if you were to go back to the early start of chat, they formed an alliance. They planned to work together. And we didn't really see that on the other side. Like, Red, he had an alliance with Yellow because they were both named Nick. And then Red either... Red didn't trust Yellow, remember, when Yellow had sent that army in to hit Blue. Blue had this plan to go 4v4. Only three of the people on his team of four didn't know that was... <laughs> didn't know that that was agreed upon. Um, you know, Green, I'll give him credit because Green was fighting alongside Orange for a while there. He just wanted to mix things up, and I respect that. But yeah, that was the big issue. Red had a phenomenal game. Gray had a phenomenal game. Yellow had a great game. Blue had a great game. But they didn't fight with somebody. They did not fight with somebody. And so, you know, some people here are like, Raw! We went blood! We want death and destruction! And two people chose love. And love prevailed in this game. It was a good game. Also, I think that half the players completely forgot about exploding kings. And that is also kind of a concern because we haven't done it in a bit. So uh, if we do more exploding kings, then people are going to be more aware of it. And can maybe use it offensively. Whew. All right. These two best friends will add each other on Steam, play some 2v2s on ranked, maybe. I don't know. Uh, there's the KD. Grabnik had a great game. What I loved about Grabnik was how he would make forward production buildings. So forward production buildings here, forward production buildings here as well. Uh, I think there was also forward production on this side at one point. I forget. Um, that was something that Grabnik did a really good job of on top of the eco. You can see with the eco that purple actually had more trade than anyone. 40k gold brought in. It's a lot of gold on the map where you have to expand usually to get most of it. I think Gray is going to be kicking himself. Like, Gray and Red could have, I think, dominated everyone if they just worked together. Gray, of course, attacked Red. Then Red had trust issues with Yellow. Just trust issues in general that game. GG. Can you show the color lines at the end of the stats? Yeah, you can see it here. You can kind of tell when explosions happen, too. Um, not as obvious as maybe other games where things are a bit more cramped, but there's a look at the all the lines. The light color obviously being the eco, the dark color being military, if you didn't know that.